Well, hello, ladies. We are so excited to invite you back to another session with Carmel Clark and I. Um, we are excited to have you on this third of three of a series of videos that we're doing. And this third one is all about travel and transformation, one of the most juiciest topics that we love to cover. And we're going to share with you some specific moments of transformation for us and some for uh, women that we have been involved in that Italy for them was incredibly transformational. And this is actually an open invitation to you. So again, I'm Bridget Cook Birch. I'm a New York Times and Wall Street Journal bestselling author. I am a transformational speaker and trainer and love to be able to assist people with their stories on stage and page. And I'm here with my dear, incredible friends, Carmel Clark. And Carmel, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself as well? So thank you, Bridget. I am Carmel Clark, and I started the business, The Adventurous Self, where I lead international women's retreats. I am a master coach and speaker and trainer as well, and I take people through the processes of transformation in all the work that I do, help people who are leaders learn how to become even more powerfully transformational and influential in the work that they do. And Bridget and I bring these gifts directly to you in our Italy retreat, Renaissance Women. So Bridget introduced video number three, which is where you are right now. And we had the first two videos. If you didn't see them, we highly recommend. The first one is Why Italy for Me Now? And the second video is our adventure reel, which is all the exciting uh, excursions, adventures that we're going to be having, the things you get to discover and explore, great pictures with a few little stories in there. And our video number four coming up is our VIP adventure. We're going to be talking all about the VIP, small group of women, tiny backpacks, on and off train, incredible. You don't even know where we're going to go, what we're going to do, but I can tell you right now, it's better than you could imagine. So look for video number four coming this next week. And then we are leading this all into our private screening, where we would like for you to join us because you're asking this question right now, is Italy for me this year? And we think if your gut's twisting just a bit or a lot, that the answer is probably yes. If so your heart is pounding and palpitating and your adrenaline is rushing and you have chills up and down, then yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we would love for you to join us. We already have a number of our spots filled and we still have some spots left and one of them could and is probably yours. We would love for you to join us. So this is our video number three. And our private screening will be at the end, and we're going to be talking about the, the costs. We're going to be talking about payment plans. We're going to be talking about flights and packing lists and concerns that people have. We'll be sharing a little bit more about the amazing all-inclusive experience that we have created so that you really understand. We have some amazing bonuses to offer if you decide that you're going to jump with us right away, and we want you to have those. So stay tuned for the private screening so that you can see just how you can get into Italy this year. You may have just had it out there in the future, but what Bridget and I both have learned is that we create the future now. Mm -hmm. And that is truly the transformation of travel. So as we begin, we're going to go ahead and take you into the Renaissance Women. Yes, this is a trust retreat where women mavericks learn to receive. So women mavericks, you know who you are. And we're going to share with you the dates of this particular retreat so that you can put it down on your calendar. So the dates are May 19th through the 26th coming up. And also notice the dates for the VIP adventure. So that begins right before this incredible trip. And so again, backpacks and, and um, on trains and exploring some of the most beautiful Italian countryside and then headed to the Mediterranean. So the retreat itself is phenomenal and the VIP leading up to it is something not to be missed. So here we have um, just a beautiful picture, but really the question that is most important and that is why travel and transformation? So, Carmel, would you be kind enough to explain this, the deliciousness of this? 
Yes, thank you, Bridget. And doesn't that picture just bring back the gelato that you were eating? <laughs> yes. And the seascape and the people and the art. Yes. And the sand. Oh my goodness, yes. Gelato in the Mediterranean. So there are three main areas of transformation that we focus into with travel and with this retreat. Those areas are first ourselves, transformation for ourselves. The second area is relationships. We get to actually work through the transformation of relationships in our lives. That could be our most significant relationships, and it often is. And the third area that we work through or work into when we travel and we bring transformation into it is about our business, our work, our careers, and most of all, that big why, that deeper divine purpose that we are fulfilling in our lives and making sure that that purpose is aligned with what we are doing, where we are focusing our time. And that moves all the way back into relationships and then back into the self. So you see that it comes full circle mm -hmm. as we work into that, that purpose. Now, this is really a space, if you are ready to come to Italy this year, and even if you're thinking about next year, but we're going to focus on this year. If you are thinking about it, this is a crossroads moment. Every single woman that we have ever uh, talked to and the women who came with us last year who are ready for this kind of a leap are at a crossroads. Another part of that, because you're at the crossroads, is you are looking for clarity. So you're at a crossroads, you're looking for clarity, and you're coming to this point where you, you need and want to have yourself back or you want to have yourself better. It's going to be right in one of those two areas, right? And this is because you are feeling for yourself that the time is now. We're going to be sharing some moments of travel and transformation with you in the rest of this time that we have with you today. And we want you to consider yourself in these moments, the excerpts of stories that we're going to share, the, the, the experiences that other women have had when they have taken the leap out of where they have been, out of the comfort zone, out of their homes and their communities to go halfway around the world mm -hmm. and experience themselves in a whole brand new way. Beautiful. So I'd like to start by sharing a little bit of my own um, personal transformation, just a moment of personal transformation. I love T.S. Eliot, and T.S. Eliot said that only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far they can go. And when I was preparing with Carmel for Italy last year, it was a big stretch for me. And what was amazing was where my leadership led me, where my leadership wanted me to go and to take me. And uh, I found myself with Carmel and a woman from uh, She Rose that I had just made executive director of Europe. And we were at this beautiful little outdoor cafe eating al fresco and just down from um, St. Peter's Basilica where the Pope had just been speaking to the crowds and watching as people were passing by, but we were creating something so extraordinary and sparked and started the ideas for something that is gonna be a global women's summit in Rome. And, and I just have to tell you that that was so far out of my personal experience of just a couple years before that it was such a beautiful moment that has stayed in my mind to have Carmel there, to have another international woman leader and to for the three of us to be sitting and to discuss the needs of women on a global basis. That's the power of travel and transformation. And you've got to take a risk to go far so you can find out how far you can go. And what about you, Carmel? Oh, Bridget, I just have goosebumps remembering that. It was extraordinary. And to think like we walked into whatever the possibilities were, you did and you brought me in, which was really such a gift. Mm -hmm. And then we all came together in this moment that happened spontaneously because we had taken the leap to come to do this retreat in Italy, but you had all these other things coming in. And so it was basically just this 
incredible everything converging, right? It's a perfect example of travel and transformation. And when you have the intention in you of what is possible, even if you don't know how it could look or what it could be, and then you just take that leap, Things come together. Miracles happen. And that is exactly what you just gave us, that beautiful, delicious moment of. For me, I would have to say that there was a transformational moment um, when we got together on that train platform and we were waiting for our ladies that were coming for the VIP adventure to show up because we had two minutes to get all their luggage off get us on and our retreat director who is Italian <laughs> when she said wait what <laughs> what are you going to do and she looked at us like you can't do that that's crazy I remember sitting there this was the day before we were going through the final itinerary and getting into all of the details the final details of everything and she as we looked at the 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 time with the trains she looked at that finally and she said wait you can't do this for me it was going down inside myself and looking at what we were going to do and then I just asked her I said well the train can't take off as long as the doors are open right <laughs> <laughs> and she said no and I said then Bridget and I will be at each end of the car we didn't know which car the women were going to be on. We had to figure that out as we were running alongside the train on the train platform <laughs> as they rolled into Orvieto Station. And Bridget and I will each get on either end of the car and hold the doors open and pull the luggage off. And we will have our backpacks already on and the little pocket lunches and we will jump on the train. And she looked at us like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're crazy. And she dug in and helped us and it was an amazing experience and the look on the women's faces and the look on Stefania as we went goodbye and she had the luggage to take with her assistance and we had the women in our backpacks and we were ready to go it was we ready to go yes. and, the, and the doors closed and we were on the train I know that when you decide that you're going to do something and you take the leap because this was another leap. Mm -hmm. This very experienced woman, our retreat director, who travels and leads um, groups all over, all over, all over the world, right? And she looked at this, an experienced traveler, and she was like, whoa, whoa, wait. <laughs> what I want to say is when you know that there is something that is ready to happen and you're willing to take the leap, you will find the way to make it work. And if you trust, it will be better than you could ever have imagined. Absolutely. So let's dig in. We have some some these moments of transformation and um, some people to share with you. And so, Carmel, mm -hmm. why don't you let us know what this video was? So this was a moment with our women on the retreat where one of our women, Lee, actually just because this is part of what happens with transformation. It just, you realize things in moments that you, you would never have come upon and they touch down in you so powerfully. And I just turned, she started speaking and I turned my phone on and I didn't want her to feel like she was being filmed. So I just held my phone. So you're going to get this video raw, just exactly as it happened, or I didn't hold my phone up, my camera up. I wanted her to just speak from her heart. And this is what she said. whole thing and I'm like wondering okay can I trust and then you know running through the Duomo Piazza and it's like okay little by little I'm like trusting it because it's fun <laughs> and, and so I'm realizing what trust looks like for me because I can say it up here but what it feels like here is is it's been an evolution in the last what 30 hours or whatever mm -hmm. And I, I want to feel that and know it and remember it so I can know it when it's happening to me. And I can claim it and I can say, I trust this. It's okay. Because most of the time, I have it. Thank you. And it was a funny thing that started this. It's like, I don't have to pay for anything. I already paid for it. <laughs> I like my life. I've already. 
<laughs> I just love that. And it really was this space of trust, this big leap that Lee got to take. And then she just had huge, huge breakthroughs. So speaking of breakthroughs, what we want to share with you is that women who travel absolutely transform. We've done it and we're inviting you to do it. And here's a couple of those who have transformed. Uh, Carrie says, I had heard Carmel often speak of the importance of travel and adventure, especially for women. I realize now that it takes leaving your life behind and traveling to another country at times to find life. I just love that. And Marcia, what did Marcia say, Carmel? Oh, Marcia, she said, I thought I was on this adventure to figure out what my next steps in life could be. What I came away with was the most unimaginable amount of self-love, peace, and awareness that cannot be put into words. Mm, beautiful. So what that expresses is this question, ladies, that we have for you today. Is an adventure in Italy calling to you today? When you look at this picture and you see the culture and you see the beauty of where we're taking you, and we invite you to go to video number two because of all the, the adventures on that reel that we show you we're going to take you. But I'm just asking you to go deep down inside today and uh, to know that Italy by itself is an adventure. But is there an adventure for you that's calling you? And let's proceed forward and see. So Beth Ann, she said, taking the risk to arrive here on my own in Italy. Well, that was the catalyst. It scared me to death. But to see the beauty of women, ample, beautiful, bodacious, buxom women depicted in art, to have them placed on a pedestal instead of being trampled underfoot, that changed me. I will literally never be the same. And I will never hold myself in the space that I used to. No way. It's bigger than that for me now. Oh, I just love the fact that she went so deep into herself in that particular uh, experience in Italy and came back transformed. Yes. One of the things that Beth Ann's experience shows us is that there is no transformation without risk. Every single woman that travels takes risk and not risk for her safety necessarily, but risk to the, the, the person she was, risk to the life that she had before so that she can move into the life that is waiting for her, the life that she wants, the life that is calling to her, whatever that means, whether it's in herself, whether it's in her relationships, whether it's in her work or her business, or whether it's aligning into her bigger purpose and what she's here to fulfill on the planet. So Beth Ann's experience is a perfect example that there is no transformation without risk. Mm -hmm. And then Kelly, who came with us. Bridget, would you share about Kelly? <laughs> Certainly. So Kelly was a hoot in a hammock, and she was always <laughs> stopping to talk with people and to pet dogs, and she definitely had her own way of doing things and often had her own itinerary and we just absolutely fell in love with her we were always like come on let's go let's go but we we also just enjoyed the beautiful soul that she is and she said you know i just love to travel i love the freedom and the people and the dogs and the culture and the food and the people again <laughs> and you know then there's the people she says but on this trip i've had the freedom to be myself to explore the world in a way I can't when I'm home or with my family because they get irritated when I just want to connect and be with people. I ask a lot of questions, you know? <laughs> she says, you two know, you've had to drag me away sometimes to catch a train or a taxi or get to the next adventure. And then she says this, but here I gave myself permission to be just me. Oh, I think that's so exquisite. And it talks about the risk, but it talks about that further transformation of self. Yes. And so our purpose for you on this trip, ladies, is for you to feel the most breathtaking joy as we lead you on adventures of a lifetime. 
and we're very serious. We're not kidding about that. And then to settle back into the quiet solitude of a light-filled farmhouse somewhere deep in the Italian countryside. This is an excerpt from Lauren's journal that she shared with us. She said, how interesting that I choose two spots today to write in my journal that are in front of two different roads that lead to who knows where. My walk was perfect. At the top of the hill, there was open space, fields of poppies on one side and crops on the other, then hay in the distance. How symbolic is it that it could be a metaphor for life? Poppies for beauty in the present moment, crops for growth and sustaining life, then hay for harvesting the wisdom of the future. Mm. Of her future. Isn't that exquisite? There she was, two roads. <laughs> we were joking about that earlier, like, and taking the road less traveled by. So at this time, we want to ask you this. What is it, ladies, that you could create, that you could heal, that you could transform or complete this year if you went on an adventure in Italy with us this May? And what we're going to ask you to do is to, in a moment, pause this video and to ask yourself the question of what am I missing in these three dynamic areas of life? First, what am I missing in my relationship with myself? And second, what am I missing in my relationship with others that it's time for me to claim? And then third, what am I missing in my career, in my business, and in particular, my divine life purpose that I get to claim this year, that I get to have, that I get to be with, and that instead of all the doing, 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 that I actually get to receive, and I get to embody, and I get to be. So if you'll pause this for a moment and write the answers to those three questions, yourself, your relationships, and your divine life purpose. What's missing that you're going to claim? And now we hope that you're back with us, right, Carmel? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we hope you paused that video and you've made sure to write to yourself each of those things, Bridget, that you so perfectly explained. And then we want you to ask, how could travel in Italy, how will travel in Italy this year in May directly transform each one of those things you wrote down? Mm -hmm. Write it down. Whether or not you make the choice to go, the act of writing down each one of those areas, those things in each area, and then writing down how your leap to, to travel around the world could actually transform each one of those areas, starts the process, it plants the seed. Mm -hmm. And to just let you know how powerful this is, we even have one or two women that will be joining us again this year because they started the process and they're blowing it wide open and they know what this does for them. So thank you for taking the time for you to write these things down. And then we want to share with you just a couple more moments of possibility for you. And uh, Carmela, if you'll turn to the next slide. I will. So this is our beautiful Anne. And she said, I spent too many years being afraid. I could speak, but as you know, it was hard sometimes to speak from my heart. But here I've begun to believe in myself again and that my story as a healer holds some significance. This retreat has changed my world already. And you know what's so beautiful about that too is that her story as a healer doesn't just hold some significance. It holds all significance because that is her life purpose. It's who she is. It's a part of her very being. It's so amazing, Bridget, as you share this, 
the things that you and I have talked about with regard to what Anne says is that fear is a major player for every woman who decides to take the leap and travel. And it was a major player for every woman who came with us last year. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have just shared some stories about other women we've talked to both recently and over the past year as we have built this retreat and as women came with us. We've had so many women as they speak to us. The number one thing that stops them is some fear, some form of fear. And we want you to really examine that and look at what your fear is. What is your fear? Name it. Speak it. Say it. Write it down. Because as long as you don't, it's still governing your choices. It's influencing you without your turning around and looking it straight in the eyes, for confronting it and facing it. And then once you do, you'll know, are you willing to continue to operate under that fear or to be controlled by it? Or are you going to finally face it down? Are you finally going to let your life become more free because you're not going to live it based on choices made out of fear. Mm. Well said, Carmel. I really appreciate that. You have such a beautiful way of the speaking the truth about this. And, you know, none of us deserves to have any regrets in life, but to see how far we can go to push the boundaries to risk. And as Maverick women to really take this on in such a beautiful way and Italy, as you know, has this beautiful pampering way of allowing the lessons to come without having to fight it. You know, the resistance goes and the miracles flow. And mm -hmm. it's such a beautiful thing for us to, to witness and to be a part of. Because here's the thing, ladies, is that life is messy. <laughs> and if you're waiting for the perfect time, we know that you very well may miss out. And you don't deserve to have regrets. So this phenomenal woman had this to say about travel and transformation. There is freedom that is found in stepping outside of one's known life. I'm so grateful that I found the courage to be true to myself and the intuitive and conclusive guidance of my heart that instantly knew exactly where I needed to be, despite what could be perceived as less than ideal timing. <laughs> that wisest part of me knew that taking this leap would move me like nothing else could in the direction of discovering and creating the life that my soul most deeply desires. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So ladies, what will it take for you to take that big leap into what your heart most desires? What will it take to move you? And really the answer is your commitment to yourself. Your commitment that you're going to invest in yourself to show up better inside for you. And in so doing, you become quite a gift for everyone that you're in relationship with. And then also really uh, becoming aligned with and stepping into more and more and more of your life purpose. That's where your leadership is calling you. It's interesting that so many people say, if you want to know what you're here to do, go back to when you were a child. Mm -hmm. What is it that you just couldn't wait to do that you loved every single day? Because we knew something innocently at that time that somehow gets covered over. And what we observed last year at our Renaissance Women Retreat was that every single woman somehow took off all these layers of her life, not the power, not the identity, not the, you know, the, the self-awareness, but all these layers of care and concern and supposed tos and, and, you know, obligations, responsibilities. Every single one of them took all of these off. And what was left was this child grown into this woman <laughs> but still with all of this innocent wisdom fully intact and speaking to her 
every moment of every day, louder and louder and louder. And we got to experience this, their wisdom, their light, their laughter, their <laughs> they're looking at the person they thought they were supposed to be and getting mad and sad and then throwing it off and just <laughs> coming back to laughing and playing <laughs> and experiencing and receiving mm -hmm. and relaxing. In the water and the poppy fields and in the caves and on the terraces and in the yoga and in the writing and in all of these beautiful, transformational, wonderful experiences. So you can see we are really passionate about this. <laughs> see how passionate we are about sharing this with you. So we have one last word we want to share with you. And um, you're about to partake of it in a moment. But you know, in Italy, they have the most beautiful language. And here it is. Andiamo. What does that mean, my Carmel? What does that mean? It means come, join us. Come now. Come along. We want you to come join us. Come along. Join us next week for the VIP adventure video. And when you are ready to look at Italy, which we know you are, you have the link in the email to go to the website, read more about it. You can put your $500 deposit down and start the process of your coming to Italy this May. The moment you do it, you're going to have butterflies in your stomach, but you're not going to regret anything that will happen. You'll never regret it. We promise you that. Yes. Beautiful. Um, so thank you all for the time that you've spent with us today. Andiamo. We invite you. We accept you. 